Your LX150 will come with a flying cord out of the main control box. It will not have a connector on it. This will need to be supplied by you. The rating for this machine is 220 volts, three phase, 20 amps. So again, the machine will come with a flying cord. You'll have to find the connector and put it on the cord itself. But make sure that the cord connection, whether it be hard wire or as we have as a plug in the wall, is close enough in proximity that this cord will reach. After we have the main cord main power figured out, we'll make all the internet connections from the devices we attached to the conveyor to the main sleeve or electrical control panel. As you can see on this side, we have a timing screw and a film unwind connector. The film unwind unit will have an umbilical cord with the connector. This connector will go into the film roll side connector and the latch be locked. The timing screw assembly, again, will have an umbilical cord with a connector that will go into the timing screw device. It's important not to mix these two up. Again, we'll put it in the side and we'll lock it and snap it closed. Next, we'll come on the other side and connect the brush down units. The brush down units, again, will come with two connections on them, connect to the main power. These two umbilical cords will have spots for the brush down. So we have a brush down here and here. It does not matter which cord is plugged, they both do the same thing. So we'll plug in the brush down units to the connector, snap and lock it in place. The other one on the bottom to the brush down, snap and lock in place. There are two other connections next to the brush down is called an aux belt. If the application requires, a set of auxiliary belts can be connected to these two locations. If you do not have that option, then you do not need to use these connectors. Once all the connections are made on the sleever, we can now turn the main disconnect on. The main disconnect handle is located in the back and is right here. So we'll turn this on. Now this will energize the power in the electrical cabinet and the system itself. To turn on the AFM LX150 sleever, there is another power button on the front side of the HMI that we'll look at. Once the machine is plugged in and the main power connections and inner connections are made on the machine, we'll turn the main disconnect on and we'll come around to the HMI screen. Here, we have a power button to turn on the power to the unit. We'll turn the toggle switch to the right, you'll see the red light illuminate, now the system is energized. The HMI screen should come on and start loading up the main screen. Once the power switches on on the LX150, we'll be looking at the main screen that first powers up. As you notice, there's a cutter is not positioning message on the alarm screen here. What that means is that the machine does not know where the position of the cutter is and it needs to be programmed. So before we go and program that, we will look at the cutter to make sure the cutter is inside the machine and the cutter adjustments to make sure that that is first set before we do anything else.